What's up, everybody? Bat Tracy. Hey, guys, next down here. For Punk Rock Blues. Mm -hmm. This is 51. 51. Collection of J51. Wow. We'll start with the DVDs, um, and we're not going to ramble for this video because our last videos have been so long. Yeah. Um, and I want to go to sleep. First off, got the Jeff Foxworthy Show, the complete series. Got this on um, a website, and it was only like six bucks. Uh, we have season one on DVD, but I figured season two is out of print, so we'll get those. I wondered what website it was. Okay, we got it on Amazon. <laughs> Next up, this is one I got from Dollar Tree, and this is like 13 something dollars on Amazon. So, good thing yeah. I found it at Dollar Tree, and it's JLA Adventures, Trapped in Time, original movie, and this is definitely a kiddish movie, like yeah. it's definitely for little so kiddos, enjoyed it. but I enjoyed it a lot, and you can check out my Stardust for a lot of the movies we're about to talk about. You can talk about that one, I guess? I don't know what this is, I had to check. Alright, I've like... wanted to see this <laughs> since it came out, I remember Cool Dude talking about it, and I saw it at Dollar Tree, and I was like, hell yeah. This is Undercover Grandpa, haven't watched it yet, but I definitely will, it's on my watch list. Um... It's got James Conn in it. Also, it looks like it's a PG movie, but it's PG-13, so oh, wow. It's like dad napped. Blu-ray time. All right, first Blu-ray we got is Bad Times at the El Royale. This is one I wanted to get the 4K, but they didn't have it at the store when I got it. Really wish I would have gotten 4K because this movie looked amazing. Um, even though we're not 4K capable yet, which I should really get into that. We wanted to see this in theaters. We missed it. I watched it, and it was really good, without spoiling anything. There was some really unsettling, creepy parts in this movie. Uh, but I really enjoyed it a lot, because I'm a fan of the director, Drew Goddard. Because was a priest. Oh, uh, he's he not a real priest. He's a priest. Yeah. That was in the trailer. Chris Hemsworth was the best performance in the movie, though. He was insane. He was bad in the trailer, too. He's a bad guy. No, but his performance was Oh, no, his weak. performance was pretty good. It looked weak. Pretty good. Okay. I liked it. He liked it. Next up, this is another one from Dollar Tree. I uh, haven't watched this, but it ha looks like it has a good cast, but I've read some reviews on Rotten Tomatoes and it looks terrible. This is A Case of You with Justin Long, Evan Rachel Wood, Peter Dinklage, and Brendan Fraser. Wow. This is a movie. Uh, next Blu-ray is with Bat's least favorite actor. What? I love this actor. Uh, it's Devin Sawa as Casper. He's not credited, I don't think, though. Yeah, he's not on the front. Bill Bowman. Yeah, I don't think he's credited. That's weird. He's this came out in 1996, a year after his debut role as the guy in Little Giants. Yeah, what's his name? I don't know. He's Kevin, maybe? Guy. He's the quarterback. Never saw it. It's good. Yeah, you have. He's in Little Giants. That's a football movie? It's a football movie? movie with Rick Moranis. You've definitely seen it. We had the VHS. Okay, what's the... The Big Green is the soccer movie. What's yeah. the soccer movie with the Sprouse twins? I don't know. I don't, I've never seen it. Oh. Sorry, we forgot to mention these. We have uh, the digital code for Bad Times at the El Royale and uh, the digital code for Casper. So you can enter for both of those. Next up is Christopher Robin in a embossed uh, is this a, yeah, Blu-ray case. with a, Oh, that's the balloon. That balloon's very relevant in the movie. This movie was awesome. I didn't I see really it. You saw it in theaters, right? I saw it in theaters. And I ju we just it. got this today. It got charged to my Disney account. Yeah, and which is fine, though, because I've been trying to it's buy this. It's fine. It's $40. Okay. Whatever. It's a really good movie. Uh, it has every genre you could ever want crammed into one except for sci-fi. Comedy. There's comedy. Oh, it's hilarious. And it's Terry. It's Terry Fyan. It's Terry. Terry there, Fyan. There are some scary parts in this movie. Scary out, Terry, bitch. Uh, we have the digital code for this, too. We just haven't opened it yet. Yeah, so, so if you want to comment for the digital code for that one, you can. You should. It's good. Hey, hi, Bella. Hello. When she says how, or when you say hi, she says how high. <laughs> Speaking of dogs. I just watched Dylan Dog, Dead well, of Night. We also own Dylan Dog. Yeah, we also own it. That's the update yeah. part. Uh, this is one that I wanted to see way this back in the day. This isn't a Stardust. When this came out in theaters, I wanted to see this. And I'm in a position now where I can buy things that I want to see back in the day. Which I did with this and a second one. But it costs some money, doesn't it? It does. Patreon.com slash punk rock blues. Wow. Shill. You shill. This was bad. I hated it. <laughs> it was really, really bad. Brandon Routh and Sam Huntington. Sequel, though, didn't it? No. Oh. It made no money. Oh. It made comic, negative though, right? money. Yeah. That's all. It has nothing to do with the comic. I read reviews about this, yeah. 
Uh, Brandon Ralph, Sam Huntington star in it. It's their first. They co-star. Sam Hunt is that the guy from Avatar? No, Sam Huntington played Jimmy Olsen in Superman Returns. They co-starred oh, okay. together. Also, Kurt Angle plays a werewolf in this. This movie's bad. It's real bad. Uh, the next one up, the next one up, next Blu-ray is Galaxy Quest. Upgrade. Upgrade from DVD, uh, starring Tim Allen, who's over here, and Alan Rickman, who's over here, and then uh, Sigourney Weaver, who's right there, and then those those fucking ten. This movie obviously big influence on our channel because Tim Allen, who used to be our name, and uh, our former website, which is Allen dot com, uh, and once soon as you loaded it, it would say never give up, never surrender. Great movie, I love this one. Upgrade from Divida DVD. Wowza, that was some entertaining shizit from you. Yeah. Speaking of shizit, let's talk about something else. Oh, God. Oh. Sorry, the peer pressure is just really getting to me. Uh, next up is... From Hel who? From you and me and Dupree. The next movie, You, Me, and Dupree. Uh, no. Completely out of order. <laughs> the next one, though, is, I think, the only 4K in this collection. Yeah. The only 4K in this one, and that's Hellfest. This just came out. It's a slasher movie about a group of friends who go to a horror convention called Hellfest, and then turns out one of the scary people there is an actual serial killer, and he murders people. Uh, I like the premise a lot more than I like the movie. Uh, it fell kind of flat, but it had some cool kills. Except for one part with a syringe in the eyeball. Really. Ooh. But, uh, yeah, I really enjoyed this. And then, got the digital code if you want it. And, uh, where are we putting these? Yeah, this was fun. Next up is one I got from Dollar Tree, and I bought it for one specific reason, and one only reason, one reason only at all. I, I said words, weird, 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 uh, I say weird words sometimes. Uh, this is The Hero of Color City. Obviously, this is a Blu-ray. Um, Obviously, it's a Blu-ray. All right, there's a lot of weird stuff about this. I think it's a Wizard of Oz movie, but it's crayons. But it's crayons. It has a weird cast. Also, it's the G-est rated movie you could ever see. <laughs> it's got Christina Ricci, Craig Ferguson, Wayne Brady, Jessica Cash on Sean Astin, well, Rosie Perez. Rosie I don't Perez. know who that oh, is. Okay. Uh, only a Target. And it's yeah, it's a Target movie exclusive, only a Target. But I got it at the Dollar Tree. <laughs> and the digital code that came with this, you can only get the digital code from Target.com. <laughs> What is this movie? Why? <laughs> what? The only reason I bought it, though, is because of the case. Look at that weird color. Isn't that strange? Is our first yellow? Yeah. Isn't and that's the only one I got it. The next two are upgrades. We had them on DVD. And With... now, it's the last two MCU movies on Blu-ray that we needed. <laughs> they come with digital codes. <laughs> I thought that'd be funny yeah. if that was it. Iron Man 1 and 2. It's Iron Man 1 and Iron Man so 2. So a really good one and then a really bad one. This isn't really bad. It's so bad. It's not so bad, because this is it's better... the third no. worst MCU movie. Iron Man 2, though, you can't say it's so bad, because it's better than, like, bad movies. Yes. It's but it's a good it's movie. It's the third worst it's just, MCU compared movie. Compared to how good the others are, it's bad. It's the third worst uh, MCU movie. Yeah, finally got Iron Man 1 and Iron Man 2, with the slipcovers even. Look at that. Even though, um... I think it's, uh, this one's kind of dented at the top. Okay. Yeah. Is it different here now? And digital codes for both of them. Yeah. Next up is a movie that I thought you watched, <laughs> and when I asked you, you just went into a huge rant about it. So, I have. Did you watched. see this movie? No! <laughs> I've never even seen Annette Bennett's face before this moment. I always hear about her, but like I said, I don't watch Mark Ruffalo optionally. The only time I go into oh, a right. it's, it's besides yes, MCU. No, besides MCU, thirteen going on thirteen 30. going on thirty is the only Mark Ruffalo I care <laughs> I about. Knew I that movie. hate Mark Ruffalo. I hate all right, it. this is the kids are all right. Uh, I got this from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna watch this eventually because I think it's pretty good. At least maybe I've heard that. I don't. Well, know. the show supposedly the show sucks too. It's got uh, Adam Benning, Julian Moore, Mark Ruffalo, Mia Wachowski, like and Julian Josh Moore. Hutcherson, and yeah, Ooh, Josh I don't Hutcherson. know anything about it. Next up is one that came out in 2018, and I haven't watched this one yet. This Isn't is one of the few uh, movies Jonah I've watched. Hills? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Jonah Hill directed it's it. It's written and directed by Jonah Hill, his directorial debut. Right. It, you said you haven't watched it. I haven't watched it yet. Yeah, I want to. Uh, Mid-90s. Written and directed by Jonah Hill. Who's in this one? Who's in it? I don't know. But it's uh, it was released by Blu-ray Dan's favorite company. A24. A24! 
I saw it right there. I haven't, yeah, I haven't watched it. on the spine. No, it is on the spine. Yeah, also, this color is horrible to read text it, on, isn't it? Trying to read, like, I was trying to read the cast members, and it's like, I couldn't read anything. I can read the cast members. I can't read that Waypoint logo, though. It's so it's hard. so bad. Well, it's supposed to be the road, I think. Yeah. So. Just a weird color. This is what we were talking about. It's hard to read down there. It's even harder on the screen. It glares, and we have a code for that. Yeah, we have the code. Mid-90s. Next up, this is the one I saw in theaters. I'm pretty sure I saw it alone. Yeah. I did. That's so weird. I refuse. I saw this alone in theaters. I've watched it a second time since we bought it, and I really like this movie. I think it's hilarious. This is Night School with Tiffany Haddish and Kevin Hart. It's also got Taryn Gilliam and Rob Riggle. Kill him. Kill him and Rob Riggle and a whole crew of just nincompoops. Uh, this was a really funny movie. I think it's one of the funniest comedies of 2018. I genuinely really like this. And uh, I think the extended cut is even funnier. Because, like, literally half the movie is one scene, which is really weird. Like, when I saw it in theaters, I was like, how long is this scene been? I was like, this is what? But it's like, and then they add, like, ten minutes to that scene. And it's just, like, the longest scene in movie history. <laughs> but it's funny. It's it's really funny. I like this movie a whole lot. And also, the one thing I say is bad about this movie is it goes from, like, spine. it goes from, like, the sec. that's how it's supposed to be. It goes from, like, the second it. week of night school to, like, hey, we're graduating tomorrow. That's the only thing <laughs> hey, that I, yeah. That. I just think the cat, I, I don't know who I hate more, Kevin Hart or Tiffany Adish. Tiffany Adish is Probably hilarious. Tiff no, she's not. Yes. Ever since her hot ones, I can't stand oh, her. she's so funny. I hate her. That wasn't Tiffany Adish. Yes, it was. No. Who was it? That was, uh, you're talking about Dave the Bodyguard one, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, that's the girl from Empire. That's her. No, it's not. Who is it? I don't know her name. It's no, because she was also in uh, that really stupid mom no. movie. She's in Uncle not Drew. Not Hadish. You, t I don't even know what that is. I'm going to look it up. You talk about that movie. And we have the uh, digital code for Night School. Yeah, we do have the digital code for that. Which one. I think is what was that the last code? Yeah. Yes, that's the last code. Oh. And Whoa. Uh, and for Night School, <laughs> we got one of these, the Universal ones. Uh, next up is an upgrade. Uh, we had this on DVD, got it on Blu-ray. Both the DVD and the Blu-ray were both bought at Dollar Tree, and that's The Power of Few. I still haven't watched this, um, so I don't know anything about it. Uh, yeah. But it's got a crazy cast of Christopher Walken, Christian Slater, Anthony Anderson, Jesse Bradford, Nikki Whelan, Moon, Bloodgood, and I can't pronounce that last name. But I'm pretty sure I've talked about this before in a different video, so I'll just pass this one up. Taraji P. Henson. Taraji but P. Henson, I also Henson, don't like yes. Tiffany Haddish. Uh, I like Tiffany Haddish. I didn't Haddish. like her in Uncle Drew. Next up is another 2018 movie that I thought was fantastic. This is Summer of 84. Uh, this one went hmm. way under the radar, meaning I didn't even know it came out until it got recommended to me by Amazon and I bought it on the spot. But I really liked the cover art. And also, it's a super thick Blu-ray. Don't know why, but it's very, very thick. Blu-ray disc, that's why embossed yeah it also says blu-ray disc we have a couple of those weird um but yeah artwork fantastic but it's basically about four high schoolers who think that the cop that lives next door is a serial killer who's been murdering disappearing boys in their town fun filled movie <laughs> i loved it i loved it so much that i told mom and dad that they have to watch it sometime that's how good i thought it was and the guy who plays alex in the office he's the guy who tries to get pam to stay in oh yeah uh, New York. He's the cop in this. He's right there. Is it Alex or Alex? No, his name's Alex. But yeah, that's him. His name's Rich Summer. That's the actor. Because it's Summer of 84. Rich Summer of 84. Uh, I loved it. He's the uncle of Spencer uh, Bislin or whatever. Spencer Bislin. This is another one that I wanted to see way back in the day in theaters. Never did. And I bought it now. And it was bad. So bad. <laughs> And this is The Vampire's Assistant, Cirque du Freak. But, if you try and Google this movie or find anything about it, any page you click on anything, it calls it Cirque du Freak, colon, The Vampire's Assistant. Even though the movie plainly says, The Vampire's Assistant, Cirque du Freak. And I remember when it was advertised as Vampire's Assistant, Cirque du Freak. Well, it's but it's based on a graphic novel. It. They call it Cirque du Freak. <laughs> but the graphic novel is called Cirque du Freak, The Vampire's Assistant. 
So that's why they did it. But I think it's weird that anything changes it except for the cover art. But this was a bad movie. I think it had a good premise. John C. Riley and Josh Hutcherson played their characters well. But this guy, the main actor, uh, I think his name is Ken... It's not Ken Watanabe. I think it's Chris Massagolia. Yeah. Fucking terrible. Bad actor. Bad, bad actor. He ruined this movie with his bad acting. Like, so unbelievable. He's like, oh, ah, yeah. I'm a vampire now. Like the wrinkle in yeah, time bitch? Yeah, it was so bad. Like, he was a terrible actor. Like the wrinkle in time bitch? So this was a big letdown. Like, you can talk about this one. The last one, uh, upgrade or no? No. Which one's the main girl? That one? No. Her. She is? Yeah. It looks like I've never seen her face. Season three of Weeds. I you think. know her. It's, um, she looks different. Mary from Louise what Parker. I oh, yeah, I've never seen anything with her, really. She's in red. I haven't seen red. Huh. Uh, season three of Weeds, which I think we've been kind of collecting the Weeds, right? No, we don't have any of them on Blu ray. Although we had at least one or two. We, I think we have we season one, one on DVD. DVD. Yeah. So Weeds season three for some reason? It was $4 on Amazon. Okay. <laughs> Add that's, on or just that's it? No, just that. Uh, I just was like, okay. Uh, I think season three or four is the last season I stopped watching because yeah. the plot got too crazy. Um, first three seasons of the show I really enjoyed, though, back in the day. I'm sure I wouldn't like it as much now, but... Yeah, you loved it back in the day. Yeah. It was when I first started smoking weed that I got into the show. Oh, really? Yeah. That's ironic. Wow. No, no. That's iconic. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So that was all of them. Stanford is on. Yeah, wow, that was all of them. That was all of them. You have a random piece of hair sticking up right here. Yeah, I'm just kind of messing with it to see if people drastically realized over time I was changing it. Uh, I didn't. No. Um, yeah, so we tried to make it that one a little bit way faster. Up here. Uh, because the last video, the last two videos have been like 50 minutes each, and then we're doing Q and A Q&A video. I just finished editing that. That's a half hour video, and that was supposed to be out two weeks ago. Yeah. When we did the last one, so sorry about that. I can't stand your name. Um, do your sign off. All your social. I've been Lex Dahl. Uh, follow me on Instagram at straightjtheistjerk. And on Twitter at idiotdahl if that's public still. And your stardust is Lex Dahl. Is it Lex Dahl? Yeah, Thank you. I looked it up. Uh, my stardust <laughs> is Lex Dahl. <laughs> and you can follow us on Twitter at Punk Rock Blues and on Instagram at Punk Rock Blues. And pledge to our Patreon at patreon.com slash punkrockblues. And you're going to sleep now, because you're... Uh, I'm going to stay for the end of the video. Oh, okay. I thought you were doing that to leave. I'm Bat Tracy, and you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Stardust at BatTracy01. Uh, I'm probably going to delete Twitter. I say that every time, but I just never get around to it. Uh, that's all, uh, <laughs> folks. Different strokes for different folks. Or, yeah, different folks different have different strokes. strokes. Yeah. Different right. shows. We are We're gonna get copyright claims. Change the word. Uh, Josh Eisen, an original song. No, that's all, folks. <laughs> do you remember what I did last time? No. Do you want me to do it again? Sure. Okay. <laughs> oh, that was last time. No, that was for the Q and A. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to do it with me? Not really. Let's do it. Ready? Look at no. the camera. Just look at it. Ready? Okay. Count to three. One, two, three. <laughs> you didn't up. do it. I went up. <laughs> Oh wow, was that? That was neat. Speaking of dogs. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a good better segue <laughs> than the stupid thing I did. What were you gonna do? I, that was it. Just because it could. No, I just Robert? just did what uh, was a, Yeah. Well, speaking of dogs, we'll put them uh, both in. Speaking of dogs, speaking you, of you dogs. say it. Uh, next. Uh, Wow, that was some entertaining shit. You from... should have done the wowza now. <laughs>